Why do Americans care so much for their ancestry and heritage? Not American, but a white Australian. I struggled with my cultural identity my whole life. Growing up with a lot of first and second generation children of parents who migrated to Australia, they still held a lot of their culture and traditions. I did not have any traditions, connection to my family history, or ancestry. My family and the majority of other white Australians I grew up with have no idea where our family came from, past only a couple of generations. I completed an ancestry DNA test just to help give me some idea of where my ancestors may have come from. I think it may be difficult for those who live in Europe to understand our longing to connect to our history since you have that connection already. I, an English man, know my heritage and ancestry well. That's the thing. A lot of people in the US don't. As an immigrant, from Holland, to the US, most of whose extended family was either murdered by Hitler's cronies, or who died fighting them. I know precious little about the origins of my predecessors, dot and I'm curious. Why does Op find this odd? I know in my case. I specifically went looking because I have always been told I am part Native American but I am in fact 0% Native American. That's when I found out I am mostly Scottish. Which is surprising to me. I don't think I have ever heard anything about Scotland ever mentioned by anyone. Ever. Every American's ancestral story is so unique that it's frankly impossible to land on an ancestral American identity, unless we are referring to native peoples. So Americans learn a lot about their ancestry and heritage because how you or your family came to America is a significant part of the American identity. This is something I wish everyone else would get over colloquially. In America, we use ancestral ethnic groups and nationalities as a shorthand for explaining how our families came to America. If I say I am British, Irish, German, and Dutch, I am conveying in a simple easy way that my family came from these places. I don't actually think I am British or German. I am American. But it's easier to brief ancestral nationalities if someone asks than to explain how every branch of your family tree got here. In addition, certain parts of America have very distinctive identities based on the religion, ethnic group, or nationality of immigrants that settled in those locations. So learning about your ancestral origins can also help build ties with your current location and shape your identity that way. It was very important to the immigrants who came to the US that their kids hold onto some piece of the homeland, something they impressed onto their kids. Add to that the fact that most people are in ethnic pockets and it sort of sticks around in a sort of regional consciousness. Some people get really into it but most don't. For a lot of folks, it's mostly about the family's traditions, especially food and cultural sensibilities. For example, someone may be proud to be Italian and use pasta recipes handed down from ancestors. Or someone may have been raised in a German household and joke that it's why they are strictly following the rules. We are all Americans. There are a few that use ancestry to gatekeep or solve an identity crisis and that might make them more visible. There's not much Italian about the MTV show Jersey Shore but they sure made a point of being Italian. Cause we do. My father's side, his paternal and maternal side, have been in here since the 1650s. Researching their travel from England and Scotland was a great way to learn of their travels. Their migration through the US. Their military service in the Seven Years' War through Vietnam. Discovering the area in northern England where his mother family came from was interesting to learn of. Then reading of that area's history. Even searching birth records to find ancestors.
Matching DNA with relatives from all over the world has been interesting as well. It's something to do, interesting to learn, wonderful to discover. Honestly, I find that sort of historical information interesting. I knew my mom was full German. And the family tree I've been building has confirmed that. But my dad is a huge mix of different countries. And I wanted to know where our ancestors came from. Modern America is a huge melting pot of a lot of different cultures. So I think a lot of us want to know where our roots lie. With the exception of Native Americans. None of us have a lineage that's more than superficially connected to this country. We want to know about our ancestry and heritage because we know it's somewhere else. Well, dot the thing is it was the Europeans and others who moved to the US but tried very hard to keep their heritage and ancestral traditions alive. Then they taught their children this. I come from one of the smaller European countries. A population about the size of New York I believe. It used to be a Christian majority. No significant other religious groups. Well Jews until 1940 used to be somewhat important and Muslims have become a significant group. No big cultural differences. And still, I don't know anyone who doesn't identify at least somewhat with the providence they were born in. We have serious, okay, not that serious, debate about the word you use for french fries. Freed in the south, patat in the north, and I could go on. I think it is not very strange to long to identify with a group. A background, a heritage, a country about 20 times bigger. With a much much more diverse population and a lot less history. Would have some obsession with heritage and background I would think. Because your family has probably remained in your country for hundreds or thousands of years. Ours hasn't unless we are Native Americans. Most Americans don't actually know where our family heritage is from. We just think we are or white, black, Asian, Hispanic, etc. Personally, I find it interesting. Americans care because we've mixed our ancestors' cultures together it's interesting to know where our ancestors' cultures originated from. When we say we're Irish or other ethnic groups we're saying we have ancestry that came from that place and that's where some of our traditions originate from those places not that we are currently Irish if that makes sense. Our ancestors' cultures are not current Europe. We have ties to a past culture that was in Europe not your current. Europe has changed a lot since our ancestors immigrated here. Same with Africa and other places. I can't speak for the Americans. But in my country, Dominican Republic, most people that do this type of tests tend to be on the rich side since it is a bit expensive to send the test results from here. Sadly I feel like these tests are sometimes used as proof of whiteness. Since we are so mixed here even the whitest looking dudes can have a percentage of African or Taino. In theor blood. So you can tell that most of the people who are taking it really want that black percent to be low. Stupid I know cold sweat smile. Studying your ancestry is interesting. And it's more about discovering the people's stories than claiming some type of national or ethnic identity. That wasn't even a thing until all the genetic genealogy tests. And most of the people who take them don't even study their actual family histories. I think your whole question is just wrong. Like what you're observing isn't the case. So a better question would be why do you believe this about what Americans care about? The difference here is almost everyone is an immigrant. Most people if you trace their bloodline back oh three generations they are immigrants. Meanwhile Europeans often can trace their bloodline very far back and stay more or less in the same place. That and all of Europe is barely bigger than USA. Never mind Canada and Mexico. So saying oh, I moved from Portugal to Spain. 
Please. My in-laws are further away than that and we go there every week for Sunday dinner. Cultural heritage means a bit more in a place where most people don't really have any local heritage. Because the only real Americans are Native Americans. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epic Heracast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.